Uh, hello friends, how are you? Today we are going to see how to use RTC or how to use the real time clock in next year HMI screen. Okay, I will start with you from scratch. Okay, let me start. First of all, create a new file. Put it in the desktop or, or any destination that you want. Let me give it a name, for example, next year RTC. After that, choose the, the next year display. For example, intelligent 5 inch. Okay, that choose a direction, display direction. Okay, as you can see now, first of all, let me put uh, a number or uh, to generate a font, first of all, font file, font generator. Uh, let me give it a height 32 and uh, give it name. Uh, M32 for example, you can write I know any name you want, M32 and put it in the desktop, okay, save, do you want to, yes, of course, font generator, okay, add the generated font, yes, okay, now, as you can see here, uh, So I want to display here, for example, the second and this number. Here I want to display the minutes, and here I want to display the hour. Let me give it a simple label to realize well. Uh, here I want to display the second above second. Let me copy paste here the minutes and in one I want to display the minute and in uh, and two this and two here I want to display the hour also at the same time I will create the day and the month and the year let me copy all these numbers and labels text box paste Okay, and zero as you can see, and zero and one and two and three and four and five different name. Uh, here I want to display the day, day. Here the months, and here the year. Of course, the current year, current months, current hour, current second, anything current now. Okay, after that you need to drop a timer, no need double click, simply double click, no I want one timer, okay this timer now, okay after that as you can see here I want to display in uh, the sec the current second in N0, minute in N1, hour on N2, day in N3, month N4, and year in N5, okay all you need is to write for example, uh, uh, RT, RTC, as you can see here, RTC 0 gives me the year, the current year, RTC 1 gives me the current month, RTC 2 current day, RTC 3 current hour, RTC 4 current minutes, minute, and RTC, 3, RTC 5 current second. Okay, first of all, I want uh, in N0 to display the current second, so I simply type N0 dot, no, N0, okay, dot val equal rtc i want to display the current second as you can see rtc5 give me the current second so simply type or double click on rtc5 after that n1 okay n1 dot val equal rtc now i want the current minute so search for so for what uh, value give me the current minute what rtc give me the current minute as you can see also the rtc6 gives you the current week Okay, now I want the current minute, for example, RTC4, give me the current minute, as you can see here. Okay, double click on it. Now, I want the current current hour in N2, dot, in, uh, N2, in the variable N2 or in the number N2. Okay, N2 dot val equal RTC4, no, hour at RTC3, as you can see. Okay, now I want N3, the current day, N3 dot val, let me remove this from here, N3 dot val equal RTC, as you can see, 
and TC. I want a current day, RTC2. Now n4 dot val equal RTC1 as you can see current months and n5 as you can know here here is n5 okay n5 dot val equal RTC current year RTC0 okay after that press on save compile and let's see the running why running what the code gives me debug as you can see here, uh, the, uh, the time now is 13, 1 minute 42, as you can see in my laptop clock, and second 30 now. Now we are in 27, uh, months 8, and here uh, 2022. Every one second, I want to update the code. So you can, if you, for example, remove the timer, let me show you if you, let me show you the importance of the timer while losing RTC. If I want to remove the code from here, for example, and I put a button, for example, okay, this button, and I place the code inside the button. Let me show you what happened. Okay, as you can see, the code is not updating until I press on the button. For example, if I press now, this is the current second, as you can see, it's freezing now. So, so if I press every every time in the button, it will work well. But of course, it is not a good uh, solution. So I recommend you, or it is the best solution, or it is a suitable solution to put the code here inside the timer and remove the button from here. Let me show you again the final running. As you can see here, current second 47, 43, 13, and the year and the month, the current year, current months, current day. Okay, this is all about our video today. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. We have a lot of video, we have a lot of tutorial we are going to upload in, uh, as soon as we can. Please don't forget to subscribe to like our, and like to our channel. And thank you for your watching.